In addition to the Lightroom black and white filter presets that we've been working with in the last lecture, we also have the Lightroom BNW toned presets. So over here you can add monochromatic effects to each one of your, your images. For example, I'll click on cream tone. And you can see here that the image is almost grayscale, but some of the color does come through. So it adds this uh, cream tone hue to the entire image. Another example is the cyanotype. And this time it adds a bluish tint to the image. You can add a sepia effect as well. In addition to the BNW uh, toned presets, we can also add effects to our images using presets. So just go ahead and expand the Lightroom effect presets heading. I'm just going to click the reset button and I'm going to click on grain heavy. This adds a grain texture to the entire image. Grain light adds a more subtle grain effect and grain medium is somewhere in between. Adding grain to an image digitally through Lightroom is similar to increasing the ISO sensitivity on your camera. We can also add a vignette effect. So we have vignette one and vignette two. A vignette will add a dark shadow around the perimeter of the image and that dark shadow gradients out. So it makes the center of the image the focal point of the composition. Adding a vignette effect is similar to the effect you would get by using a full frame lens on a camera with a cropped image sensor uh, for those of you into photography. So you can see here on the left that there are several different presets you can apply. It would be impractical to memorize what each one does. It would probably be a much better idea to understand how each of the adjustments on the right side of this interface work. And we're going to be going through each one of them uh, later in this course. The reason is because when you understand what's happening here, you can customize your effects to whatever end result you're trying to achieve. With the presets, you're limited to what the preset does. So you'll see as an example there, when I click on blue filter, the sliders in the adjustment panel automatically shift. Okay, so when, when you understand what each one of these items does, you'll be able to do this on your own without using presets with a much higher degree of customization to what you're trying to achieve. So I'll go ahead and press reset because we don't want to apply any of these changes. And we'll see you in the next lecture.